In this session, we'll look at how we can extract high-resolution imagery from an InfraWorks model. On my screen, I have a model that represents a proposed roadway project and park site. For the purpose of this example, we are going to be focusing our attention on the park area back here. I'm going to jump over there by opening the bookmark menu, and then I'll select this bookmark called Proposed Park. Let's assume that I need to extract an image of this area for the purpose of creating an exhibit for a public meeting. To create the image, I'm going to come up and open the presentation menu, and then I'll come down and select Create Snapshot. Here in the file name area, I'm going to click the ellipsis button. I will then select the folder where I'd like to save my image. I'm going to keep the default name of Snapshot 1 for right now, and then I'll choose Save. Next, I can assign my desired resolution. You can see that we can assign the viewport resolution, or I can set my own. As it is, the default resolution is quite small. I'm going to turn off the aspect ratio here, and I'll set this to 1280 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall. This represents standard HD resolution, and I'll click Save. Once the image has been created, we'll take a look at it. I'm going to do that by bringing up Windows Explorer. I will then jump into that images folder. I'll right-click on that image, and I'll come down and choose Open with Photoshop. Here we can see the overall image. Now, the first time you see this, you may think, well, why not just create a screenshot? We certainly could have done that. However, the snapshot command will eliminate the InfraWorks interface from the image. Likewise, using snapshot, I have full control over the image's resolution. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to click the zoom button here a couple times, and you can see that even though this represents an HD image, it doesn't hold up very well as I zoom in. We can very quickly start to see the pixelization. Let's try using snapshot to extract a high resolution image. I'll do that by minimizing Photoshop. And back in InfraWorks, I will select the Create Snapshot tool again. We'll keep the default settings here. Same folder as last time. It'll be called Snapshot 2 in this case. I'm going to extract this version, though, with 20 times the resolution. I'll make this 25,600 pixels wide by 14,400 pixels tall. And I'll click Save. Now, you may think creating an image this size would take a great deal of time. It actually doesn't. Depending on the complexity of the model, we can extract an image like this in 15 to 20 seconds. Once the image is complete, I'm going to jump back over to Photoshop. I'll choose File, Open. I'll select the new snapshot, and I'll click Open. Once again, we can see the overall image. The nice thing about this photo is I have a tremendous amount of pixel depth. I'm going to click the Zoom button here a couple times, and you can see I can zoom in quite a ways without any degradation of the image. So I could use this image to create additional close-up images if I wanted to. In fact, I can zoom this all the way down to where I can read the license plate on this car. When I'm finished reviewing the image, I'm going to close Photoshop, and I'll return to InfraWorks. So if your design presentation requires the use of still images, consider using the Snapshot tool. By leveraging Snapshot, you can extract imagery from an InfraWorks model that's suitable for everything from a website gallery to a printed publication. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.